Okay, hey everybody, we're gonna get this started. All right, welcome, welcome, welcome. Today I'm gonna to go through a presentation to help you sell your home for more than it's worth in this market. And I'm gonna share with you how we sold over a couple hundred homes over the past couple of years and have helped a ton of families do the same. Let's see here. I'm Josh Rogers, I'm with EXP Realty. I'm here in Jacksonville, Florida, and I've been in real estate for over 12 years and absolutely love it. It's just such a rewarding and fun career. Okay, so anyway, let's just jump in. How to sell your home for more than it's worth. And we'll just jump in with a, uh, the first testimonial. So Susan, Susan actually uh, reached out to me and unfortunately a tragedy happened in, the, in her family and her, her elderly husband passed away. And so she reached out, she was interviewing a couple different real estate agents. And when I first met with her, she was completely overwhelmed. She was scared. She didn't know where, where to start and, and intimidated with the whole process. She was just saying, she just feels like, you know, she was, she's drowning in an ocean of stuff to take care of and didn't even know where to start. And so I mapped out our strategy, our play, a lot of things of which I'm going to share with you tonight. And you're not going to believe it. This is just such a, a big victory and success Within the first weekend out of her going live, she got multiple offers and she got a full price offer with a solid uh, contract, a solid buyer. And she just said she is just thrilled. She's tickled to death. She couldn't be happier. And that's because she did everything right. You know, a lot of times sellers feel like, like they, they um, are navigating through uh, a, on a journey that they don't really know what to do, nor do they know what to expect. And they don't know the right questions to ask. And Susan, we held Susan's hand and she did really great. I want to share another story with you. His, his name is Ed. He was downsizing and um, he actually chose a wrong real estate agent who allowed him to fail. And so they listed their house and really didn't do any of the things I'm going to show you tonight. The home stayed on the market for four months and it did not sell. He ended up firing his real estate agent. He needed to sell. He was in a time crunch. But um, he called us and I looked at it that we're the cleanup crew. He called us to be the cleanup crew to come in and save the day. So we gave him the map. We gave him the plan and the strategy. He followed it to a T. He did everything right. And within two weeks, he got a great offer. He was able to sell and close on his house and move on to the next stage of his life. So I tell you that because selling a home is not just reaching out to your, your, your brother-in-law or your pal or your friend of a friend that's a real estate agent and then putting on putting it on MLS. It's so much more to that. And so that's what we're going to jump in today. So we're going to talk about the selling seller mistakes and, and the ones that they reg regret um, that ends up costing them tens of thousands of dollars, precious time on market. A lot of times, if you don't realize this, but the longer the days on market go, the price has an inverse relationship and the price goes down. So as the days on market go up, the price and the ultimate contract and sales price drops. So every day is valuable. Um, it causes more stress, anxiety, and frustration. You, you uh, don't have peace of mind and you're just lying awake at night living in a state, a state of flux, meaning that you're walking on eggshells, you're having to keep your home clean all the time and uh, it gets old really quickly. And that's because of a lack of preparation. Sellers just are not prepared properly, both mentally and they don't prepare their property correctly. And they have no strategy and very little attention to detail. Okay. It's not just some, we're not, we're not selling a, um, we're not selling a bicycle. This is many people's one of their largest investments in life. So we're going to kick off this right now, how to prepare your home. Okay. That's going to be the first, first part of this. 
the first tip I would give you is absolutely do not write a contract on a different house. Don't buy a different house before you actually have a rock solid game plan strategy and a winning real estate uh, plan for your current home you need to sell. The reason behind that is if you sign a contract on a different property, now you've put yourself between a rock and a hard place, maybe financially and time-wise. And a lot of times, whenever you feel pressured to do something, it forces you into a bad decision uh, and, it, and it causes undue stress. So I always share with all our families, don't sign a contract on a different property until you have a rock solid, uh, watertight game plan on your current home selling it. Also plan for your next move when you sell. So what I stated this, what is your plan for your next move when you sell? So for example, if you list your home today and you get a buyer tomorrow, that buyer typically takes for 30 to 45 days for them to close on their mortgage. So you, the clock starts ticking. You have a month to a month and a half to move all your stuff out into a different property. Is that going to be uh, a, a different house that you're going to go buy and close on at the same time? Is it going to be a rental? Is it going to be an Airbnb? Are you going to live with family? You definitely want to have a rock solid game plan for that because that's going to help you and give you that confidence uh, whenever you're selling your current home. How to prepare your home. Okay, this is an incredible tip. It's called a pre-listing inspection or walkthrough. So basically what this is, a home inspector or maybe a contractor or a really sharp handyman can walk through your home and point out all the items that would pop up on a property inspection report that a buyer would order after they go under contract. So this is being proactive and getting in front of any landmines that may pop up that could kill the deal once you're under contract. For example, we had a great home go live on the market that didn't have a pre-listing uh, inspection. And so the first buyer gave a great full price offer. They went under a contract and then through the inspection process, they were scared off and they canceled the contract and got their money back. So for any reason, 10 days after a buyer writes a contract, they can pull the plug, cancel the contract and get their money back. What does that do for you? You lose days on market and you lose the momentum on market because your home was temporarily off the market. Now it's back on the market, which causes all the other buyers to wonder what's wrong with the house? What, why did the other buyers cancel? Is there something wrong with that house? And we don't want that to happen. <clears throat> so having a pre-listing inspection report, you can know exactly what's going to pop up on the report. You can hire a handyman or contractors, or even you can repair those items yourself and then provide that report to any potential home buyers. That's going to give them transparency, transparency, and then also it's going to give them confidence in what they're buying. So there's no surprises. So you really minimize your cancellation rate by doing a pre-listing inspection. It costs a couple hundred bucks, so it's well worth it. And it gives you peace of mind as well. And so then naturally you can hire a handyman or you can do it yourself to repair those items. Uh, I highly recommend that. It's, it's money well invested. Uh, and then how to prepare your home. This is going to be pressure wash, pressure wash your, your home, your downspouts, the, uh, the gutters, and then also the sidewalk and the, uh, the driveway. That's going to be the first impression. And if you think the front of your home is going to be that feature photo that's advertised on every website, it's going to be the first thing anyone sees and you really want it to pop, especially whenever your buyers get out to see your home for the first time and they're walking up the driveway walking up the walkway, see your front door. You don't want any cobwebs or bugs or anything like that on there. And then how to prepare yourself for the listing and selling process is if you have pets, what are you going to do with those pets when you're away at work all day and you possibly get a showing? Okay. You got to have a game plan for that. I recommend, <clears throat> recommend reaching out in your neighborhood group and getting a couple of neighbors that you can pay 10 or 20 bucks to if they're home all day to come over and take your dog for a walk and make sure the house is, is fresh, the house is aired out so it doesn't smell like a musty um, pet odor. Also, uh, kiddos, think about uh, the kids' situation. Nap time can be really challenging if you have little ones. Um, and then also off days and that kind of stuff. So it's just something that you're mentally ramping up for and preparing for going into the selling stage. Because here's the thing. Selling is, is a big inconvenience, especially with the showings, because basically you have to live like you're living in a model home and you can't leave dishes in the sink. But the faster 
sure that you rip off the Band-Aid and get that home under contract. Once it goes on a contract, the showing stop. So that's a big celebration. Then you can let your hair down and relax a little bit. And that's a, that talks to the daily living portion. Okay, now the next session. What kind of updates can you do to your home that don't cost a ton of money, but it's going to impact the, the saleability and the price the, in the biggest way? The first is going to be incredible landscaping. This is something you can do yourself, but um, you know, add some nice annual flowers that's going to hold their color for as long as possible. And it's just a nice lush and extravagant landscaping that frames the home that's very welcoming and inviting and it looks sharp, it looks crisp. Also nice uh, dark brown mulch in the beds and, uh, and then make sure that the grass is, is looking really sharp as well. So if there's any uh, bare spots or weed spots, you wanna replace those and get those out. So that's gonna affect your, your curb appeal. Uh, it's something you can do really easy on the weekend and it's gonna help in every way. Interior paint is one of the least expensive. It's going to take some elbow grease if you choose to do it yourself, but the interior paint is going to do three things. You should paint the walls a lighter neutral color throughout the house. And right now, light gray is in. And whenever people paint it light gray, it makes the place feel larger. It makes it feel more open. It reflects more light. And then also it gets rid of any say stale odors in a home whenever you have fresh paint and it's gonna look really sharp. So there's not gonna be any scuff. So the home doesn't look worn and actually looks new. So paint is a huge one. It's so easy and it's inexpensive. I highly recommend that. You don't want any extreme colors like dark reds that you typically find in uh, dining rooms or kitchens. You really wanna neutralize those colors. Light fixtures is a great way to update your home without breaking the bank. And light fixtures in your dining room and then also in the bathrooms and anywhere else. So uh, go for the, the brighter, lighter lights. You don't want say like dark brown light fix fixtures. Um, pendant lights add a lot to a home and a lot to a kitchen. So if you were to find some nice, elegant, um, say sheer white, pendant lights, that makes a big impact. So light fixtures is a great, great way to add class to your home. Also, are adding hardware on your kitchen cabinets. It's not a ton of work, not a ton of time or money, and it really adds a nice little pop. It makes it feel classier. Kitchen backsplash, another thing for a couple hundred bucks, you could do it yourself or you can hire somebody. Get the, the classic, uh, the glass, maybe transparent glass subway tiles as a backsplash, it really adds a nice pop. And then if there is carpet in the home and it looks worn, just get new carpet. And a lot of times that's just going to be in the bedrooms. While you're at it, just price out what, you know, some of the, the newer laminates go for, because if it's a comparable price, you can do laminate wood and laminate has come a long way uh, from back in the day that it's really impressive and it does a great job. So, but new carpet essentially does a couple things. It's going to look fresh. It's not gross. And the lady of the house, the buyer she's not going to be creeped out with old carpet, like new fresh carpet. Even though people don't necessarily love carpet, new carpet is way better than old stinky carpet. Outdoor features. This is uh, <clears throat> one of the biggest ways to increase the sellability and also the price of your home, especially here in Florida, is outdoor features. So that means extended paver patios because that's the living area and that room for enjoyment and entertainment. And a lot of people love that. So paver um, a paver area, screen enclosures, and then also if you were to extend any type of enclosure or roof, or something like that, that's a really great thing. So if you have those, that certainly affects the value of your of the price of your home. Now here's the thing. Let's just talk. Whenever somebody asks, "Hey, should I replace the kitchen? Should I renovate the entire kitchen?" Here's the thing. You just have to understand that you're not going to get a dollar for dollar return. All right. So if the granite counter countertops cost you $4,500, that doesn't necessarily mean that you get to take the price and increase the price $4,500. What it does mean is the home will appeal to more buyers and you'll probably get it under contract quicker, but you're not gonna get that dollar for dollar return. So you may just ask yourself, huh, are the current countertops good enough so I don't have to fork out $4,500 of cash and hope that it sells faster? Anytime I ask somebody to do say an update with new appliances or granite countertops is only if it's the, the icing on the cake. If everything else is upgraded 
and it's just that one missing item that makes it a 10 out of a 10, I'll say, yeah, go ahead and do it because then you have the full package. But it doesn't, I haven't seen it move the needle if you piece piecemeal things together where, you know, maybe you have small, small old kitchen cabinets, but then you upgrade the countertops because all the buyers are still going to be complaining about your small old kitchen cabinets. So either you do it all or you do it, do nothing. And if you're going to sink $35,000 into a new kitchen, there's no chance you'll, that you'll get that back on the, the sale price. So I advise against that. Okay, staging your home. This is a great, great service uh, for sellers and probably one of the most exciting parts of, of what is offered to the sellers. It's super interesting. This is what they like the best. Why do we stage homes? Because it creates emotion and, it's, and it triggers buying emotions, okay? People buy through emotion, but then they justify it through logic. So when that, that first impression is, when they're experiencing the home, this is what staging speaks to. Um, First of all, how can you improve the, the feeling of your home? You can increase the wattage in your light bulbs. Okay, so you want to go for a 100 watt soft light white bulb. And I did this to my kitchen. It's incredible. It feels like a completely brand new and different kitchen. So especially do this in the kitchen and then the main living area. So if you have like a, a family den or an office or a living room or a dining room, change those into the, the 100 watt soft white bulbs. It's magical and it costs peanuts. Anything dark we wanna remove for the home to stage it properly. So that means if you have dark curtains or dark rugs, go ahead and remove those. And you can replace those dark curtains with white sheer curtains, okay? That does really well. Hey, for all of you that are, are on board, if, um, attending and watching this, if you have any questions, feel free to just click on the chat, chat box or any comments. And uh, I'd love to get a dialogue going. <clears throat> Let me check over here real quick. Yeah, if you just post any chat, let's see. Yep, so I'll be monitoring the, uh, the chat box here as well. Any, anything that I missed or some good ideas that you have too or any specific questions, put those in there and then we'll, um, we'll go over that at the end. All right, and so let's see here. Oh, now again, back to the staging. Remove big bulky furniture, okay? Especially we see this all the time with big sectionals. You know, it's almost like a like a, a like a C-shaped sectional. A lot of times you can remove two pieces of that sectional to where it looks like it's just uh, a small couch or like a love seat, and it changes everything. So remember, the home is no longer your home to live in. Now it's like a model home staged to appeal to the most amount of buyers. So the more big, bulky, dark furniture we can actually remove from the home is going to make it feel larger and it's going to make it feel brighter. All right. And people say, Josh, where do I put all this stuff? Stick it in the garage. Nobody cares about the garage. Or if you're going to rent a pod, go ahead and stick it in storage or stick it in a pod. But any furniture that you don't use on a daily basis, sometimes we have... Um, older furniture that is just there just because we've always had it, just get it out of the house because it doesn't do any, any good. We had a listing that had a lot of pieces of furniture that were just there as more of decoration and not actually uh, to be utilized. And once they removed it from the home, it had a huge impact and the, the market responded and, and we got different feedback from buyers because they just let that big furniture go. Uh, don't block win windows or the line of sight through windows. Sometimes there's big couches or sectionals in front of sliding glass doors where there's a little walkway behind. We want to free up that space so whenever somebody walks into the room that nothing's blocking the light and if nothing's blocking the windows. That's a really big tip that people may not, they won't notice, but subconsciously it impacts the home and it impacts the way they feel. Clear all horizontal surfaces. So the top of your refrigerator, the top of desks, and all the floors. You don't want anything on there unless it's an intentional decoration, okay? Um, no need to have a ton of tchotchkes. If you think about walking into a model home by a builder, think of, look in, and see how they decorate in their style, and that's what we want to try to mimic. Clear all the floors and closets, pantries, and laundry rooms because buyers love storage. They're looking for storage. The biggest way to... Uh, create the sense of more storage and more space is get the stuff off the floors. When you walk into a pantry, it's easy for me to put like my cat food down there and, and other than like big cases of water. But if you clear all that, they walk in, it really makes it feel open. 
So that's a, a nice little hack and a trick is to clear those floors. Uh, remove family photos. This is one of the most popular questions. And I'm of the school of thought, yes, remove your family photos because as new buyers walk through, we really want a blank canvas so they can paint their picture and paint their family and see the, the memories and emotions that they're gonna create with their family. And they're not walking through your house looking at all of your family where they feel like they're in someone else's home. We want them to feel like they're in their home. Oh, Phil, confusing rooms with staged furniture. So sometimes there's those, those odd spaces in our home that uh, you're, you're wondering like, what would I do with this space? Maybe it's like a retreat or a, um, or a den. And if you just leave it open and empty, it confuses buyers. So you may jump on SwipSwap or Facebook Marketplace and grab a couple pieces of intentional furniture to stage that room so people know exactly what it is. Sometimes we have families that have turned their dining room into their kid's playroom. We advise them to get all their kid's stuff out, go buy a cheap dining room set and stick it in that dining room so buyers know exactly what that confusing room is. All right, now we're gonna jump into the last section which is how to market your home. Okay, this is where I really get fired up because I am I'm marketing to the core and the devil is in the details. With everything that we put out, everything that you put out on your home, it really needs to be intentionally thought through because buyers are making first impression decisions about the value of your home. When buyers are looking at homes online and scrolling through their phone and the iPad, they're always trying to think, they're always looking, how low can I offer? I wonder what price they'll take. Um, they're looking for reasons to discount your home. So don't give them that chance, all right? Because you're gonna check out, you're gonna cover all the details. First impressions are everything. That's why we highly recommend HDR photos. Now, HDR photos are not taken with the phone and it actually stands for high dynamic range. And that means that it captures all the different forms of light. So if you have an incandescent light and then you have a fluorescent light and then there's the outside light through the window, a high, an HDR photo will capture all those different lights and be able to tell the difference. Actually, it takes multiple photos and then compresses them together, okay? And then you're gonna get that through a high quality professional photographer. Photos are everything. That's the very first um, impression that all buyers see online. And so if you don't get those right, it breaks my heart when I see photos taken with real estate agents from real estate agents whenever they're just taking it from their phone and lights are turned off and there's some, some random dude sleeping on the couch. We've all seen those, those photos, but they exist. And unfortunately, you're going to sell your home for a lower price over a longer period of time if you get the photos wrong. Sales language. Okay, so the sales language refers to the write-up in MLS that's also going to be published on Zillow, Realtor.com, and all over the internet. It's um, The sales language really is an art, and you need to embrace the fact that you're selling your home, you got to be a 100% salesperson. And that means explaining not only the features of your home, like wood floors, granite countertops, plantation shutters. Those are all features, but now we have to translate those features into emotional benefits for the buyers. We can't assume that the buyers understand the benefits of plantation shutters, which first and foremost, they look really sharp. They look very classy. They're more prestigious. Secondly, they're, they're, uh, they're gonna help you with energy efficiency. I have plantation shutters on my home, and you would not believe the amount of heat that it blocks from coming into the home. And so the, the sales language, whenever you write that description on MLS, needs to be cla grand classy plantation shutters to help with energy efficiency and blocking out the hot summer heat. See how much more powerful that is rather than just listing on the description plantation shutters. That's a big, big flaw and it's costing people thousands of dollars. So you want to create that value and urgency. <clears throat> urgency meaning whenever you're typing up the, the listing sales language, you want to be sure that you or your agent put in there, the home's not going to last. The home is priced right. Super popular floor plan. The, you know, must see, must come see it now. This is all language that if we leave it out, we're really doing a, a disservice. So there's got to be strategy and intentionality with the words we use. And then limit, okay, so this is really a, a great ninja marketing tip 
limit your showings until your first open house. So for example, you could go live, which means go live, publish your home for sale on Wednesday, and then block out all showings Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then host your first open house on Saturday. And so what has happened is your home now has hit the market. Everybody sees it. You've built up that demand and that desire, but they're not able to see your home until Saturday when the open house happens. And so you're creating as much momentum as possible leading into Saturday. Then the open house is there. All the interested and all the serious buyers are going to come at the same time, creating that competition and creating those, those emotions. So that's a great strategy to get multiple offers and to bid the price of your home up. All right. Thanks, Austin. I see you. Price, price strategically for the most exposure. Okay. This simply means that buyers search homes in incremental pricing. And if you're $5,000 off the strategic pricing, that means you're going to lose 50% of the buyers. 50% of the buyers are not even going to see your home. Essentially, your home is invisible to the market. And so just a $5,000 miss on that could cost you tens of thousands of dollars because that means your home is going to sit on the market longer and less people are going to see it. And then once you begin to lower the price to try to get some activity, then buyers think that you're desperate and they're going to give you low ball offers. So a strategic price um, plan is everything. If you get it right, then you'll turn into Susan, which is our happy customer who just got multiple offers at a full price offer. Okay. So this is really, it comes down to the difference of success and failure. Listing your home and selling your home is not just sticking a sign in the front yard and putting it on, on an MLS. This is a screenshot of a chart in our MLS that I took today. Today is you know, just a random day of the week, a random day of the month, nothing special about it. And there are countless homes that expired off the market unsold. This means the sellers failed and it means the real estate agents failed. So even in this incredibly hot market, there's still homes that are not selling every single day, which is costing people tens of thousands of dollars, creating a ton of stress, frustration, anxiety, and it's costing them valuable time, keeping them from achieving the goals that they want to achieve. So it's really, it's this is not a game. It's not a hobby. It's the difference between success and failure. So because of that, our team has put together a package. It's the concierge home package. And we've mapped out everything. We took the most valuable things that our team is able to offer. And we want to deliver to you on a silver platter and one package to make your life easier so you can hit those goals and move on to the next stage of your life. So this is what the package includes. First, you're going to get a home prep checklist cheat sheet. So this is going to give you essentially our playbook of how you can begin to prepare your home now. That's a $7 value. That's a PDF we can shoot right over to you. Also, you're going to get a one hour staging appointment, probably one of the most popular things that our teams offer. This is $125 value. And that means our home stager is going to come into your home and spend an hour with you and go through every square inch of your home and keep detailed notes and then give you all those notes. You're going to have a really big honey do list afterwards, but I promise you it takes an average home and turns it into an extraordinary home after you get that advice. Also in this package is going to be a pre-listing inspection discount. So if you remember before, uh, pre-listing inspection, in my opinion, is very valuable. It gives your buyers transparency and confidence in your home, and it eliminates the risk of them canceling through the inspection process. So when you use our preferred inspector, you get a hundred dollar discount with that inspector. It's tremendous. You'll also get preferred discount pricing to our handyman and our painter. We do such a high volume of work with our handyman and our painter that they give our customers 10% discounts. So that means you, you immediately have somebody that you trust and they're loyal to us and they're going to get the job done right the first time. And you don't have to go through the internet and Angie list and Craigslist trying to find some Joe Schmo that's going to screw your house up. Also, we have our HDR digitally enhanced photo. So this is like HDR on steroids because we have an in-house editor that goes in and enhances those photos as well. So if it's winter time and your grass is brown, then after our people get finished, your grass is green. It looks really sharp and it makes your home and your photos come alive that just jump off the screen to really capture people's attention. That's a $250 value. Well worth it. 
And also we have our main exterior photo sky swap. And so all this simply means is that main, that feature main shot of your house, of the front door and the front of it that everybody is going to see. Whenever we, we get the photo back, they enhance the grass to make it green. They enhance the front of it to make it look like it's a twilight shot. And they turn the lights on a little bit. And then they get rid of the, the white washed out gray sky and they turn it into a sunset sky. It is magnificent. And whenever you're scrolling through MLS or Zillow and you're looking at all our homes, our homes jump off the page and capture your attention because of that twilight sunset shot that nobody else has. That's a $97 value. And then this is really my, my baby is the million dollar feature video with a drone. So we have a videographer that's done incredible work, come through your home with the video and this video makes your home come alive. And it's no longer just static photographs. We take photos and times a thousand with this video with incredible music. It's got call outs to feature the plantation shutters and the granite. And then also we have the drone that's gonna give that bird's eye view and perspective, not just photos, but also video. And then what I'm very passionate about is featuring the location and the community amenities of your property, because not only are we selling your home and your lot, but we're also selling the community as a whole and the location. So we feature those key community items like the pool and the tennis courts and the fitness center. And so that's a solid $9.99 value that your home's going to look like a million dollar home. Once you see this video, everybody loves it and they share it on social media and we publish it on YouTube. We also have paid advertising and management on Facebook and Instagram. Facebook and Instagram have over a billion users and that's where everybody's hanging out right this moment. So instead of putting your house where nobody sees it, which are old school marketing plans, we actually have trained customized ads that we publish and we pay for advertising in Facebook to your target buyer. So as your target buyer is on Facebook, just looking at whatever they look, your home actually pops up in front of your target buyer and we try to capture them and pull them into the market. That's a 497 value. And then we have a 126 piece custom marketing set with business cards, door hangers, postcards, and flyers. This is very nice, heavy duty, high quality, high printed uh, marketing collateral that comes specifically custom designed for your home. So it's an entire package is about, it comes in a box this big that's strictly focused on marketing and advertising in your home. And again, everything that we're doing here is creating value in the eyes of the buyer. So at the end of, at the end of this entire package, your buyer is not thinking, oh baby, how low can we, we can, how low can we offer on this home or what kind of discount can we apply to it? When we market it like a million dollar listing, we have buyers giving us full price offers saying, we want to buy this house before anybody else does. What do we need to do to, to pay for it to get it? So the total value of our concierge home package, so you don't have to go through the stress, frustration, and anxiety is 2,268. And so again, and here's a summary of everything that we're offered, $2,000, $268. It's a home concierge package. And so what we're doing is we're offering it for our customers that see this webinar that are willing to, they think there's a possibility they're going to make a transition in the next year or so to lock it in now for $197. It's $197 and it's a savings of $2,071. So to lock it in for 2019, this is what you have to do. Go to joshrogers.freehomevalues.net. That's going to bring up a home valuation page where you just simply enter your address on your home. And that's going to give you just the first automated example, first automated value of your home. Now, what I'm going to do after that, I'm going to jump in and see the automated value. And I'm going to reach out to you and say, hey, what kind of updates, what kind of tweaks, additions, or changes have you done to your property that's going to affect the value of your home? Because the automations can only do so much. Once I know that you've added those plantation shutters or the hardwood floors, then I can really begin to start adding those prices and really come up to with an accurate value of how much a buyer will buy your home for in this market. So that's how you can lock it in for 2019 for this $197 concierge home package. You get everything that we listed be uh, below the um, home prep checklist, one hour staging, pre-listing inspection discount, preferred discounting with our, our trade partners, HDR digitally enhanced photos, main exterior photo swap, million dollar video, our paid advertising on Facebook and Instagram and 126 piece custom marketing. 
this is such a full comprehensive package to really make your home shine and get the job done and put as much money into your pocket. And so the total value of $2,268 for 197 concierge package. So click on that link. It's going to be joshrogers.freehomevalues.net. And then you're going to fill in your uh, property address. And then the next page is going to say, which email do you want to send to? And then keep an eye out over the next day. I'll reach out to you personally and say, hey, show me those kind of tweaks. We can start the conversation. No strings attached, no obligation. Oh, by the way, the $197 uh, package, that's not paid until the closing of the home. So it actually doesn't cost you any money out of your pocket. When you close on your home and you get your big fat check, that's when the $197 is taken out of it. So there's really not any, even, even any upfront commitment. So let's see here. I sure am glad I'm looking through all the comments and all the chats. Thanks for checking it out. Thanks for hanging with me tonight. If you guys have any other questions, you can just email me at josh at joshrogershomes.com. Josh at joshrogershomes.com. You guys have a great night. I'll catch you later and I'll see you in the email. Thanks.